Hello, here I want to show you how you can make an XML file from an Excel document. And for example, I have here a document containing an Excel file or data in the Excel file, which is a simple invoice or a receipt or anything so resembling an invoice. We have the date, the customer number, we have the invoice rows here. And this one we want to build as an XML file instead. So first we need to acquire the data from our Excel file. And for that we are going to use OpenPy Excel. So let's create the document. Let's say that we want invoice generator.py. And then we open that. And first we want to open the file so we from open by excel we write import load work why can't i write workbook and then our workbook will be load workbook and it will be the name of the file which is invoice excel dot xlsx and we set the data only flag to true and our worksheet will be vb dot active worksheet and now we want our rows then so we want the date and that is vs and which cell is that it's b1 here is the date the customer number customer number is in B2 so it's in B2 and we want that value because this is a cell so we want that value and the next thing we want to do is get the rows but this is a bit cumbersome because we have the name the amount, the unit, and the price, and total. And we have three rows, so we don't want to repeat ourselves. So for this one, we can, for example, create an invoice row list. So invoice row list is an empty list equals this. And then we can use OpenPy Excel's iter row to get the rows. So for row in VS dot iter rows this and the parameters we have for this is minimum row which is number four the maximum row how far we want to go which is row six the minimum column which is one and the maximum column which is one two three four we don't want the last one actually or maybe we want because we can get the totals from the excel document so let's put five so now we get a row the whole row and then we can just do like this invoice row and we want the values of the row so we can do a list comprehension row equals cell dot value for cell in row and then we we'll just dot append the row and then we can see if it works by printing our invoice row list and we actually want to close our document because otherwise we will get a permission denied error so now we see have spaghetti pasta and pizza okay so that is good and then we have our rows then we want to generate our excel or xml document and the structure we want for that we can write here so first we have invoice and the second thing we want is the data so that can come right, right here in or actually it's the date and the customer number then we want the invoice row and 
and here we want a name and then we want oh I need to sheet I have so short memory so what we want here is it's also good to get it right and we want amount and the unit the price and the total okay so that's the invoice row and of course we want to close the tags also but I don't know if we need to write those but let's just close this row and the same for the invoice and closing tag so this is what we want and to do this we can use the library yattag so from yattag import doc and indent I think it's with the capital D let's check the documentation you can go to yattag.org and check what we need to import so a simple example is here so it's import doc and we need also the doc tag text from doc tag text and so here we write doc tag text then we want to start generating our document so with tag and the tag name first is invoice the second the tag we want is with tag date and now we want a value for the date so that is date here and the second thing we want with tag customer number and the text for that is up here customer number and here we actually want the string representation of the date so let's turn it to that and we tag customer now we want the invoice row so note here that when I write invoice row I put it here on a separate indentation and then write with tag for the second rows oh and actually now we want a loop so we want three invoice rows so four uh, row in what was our list invoice row list okay and we want a separate tag and a name so we, w we know the order so we can just write row zero for the first one and of, of course we need with tag name close it text like this so now we can just copy this first one second how many we have five so one two three four five so we have name amount we have unit oh sorry name here's amount and unit price remove that and total okay so now we should get a pretty nice format of this but this might not be sufficient to get the right to check how it looks we can use doc.getValue if I remember correctly uh, okay it's open this file let's close it mm, has no attribute okay let's check what it is oh it's it with not with capital letters okay this doesn't look so good it's not indented so we need to indent this and then we can 
copy this indent method that we have here and here print result later and let's just paste this in and let's just also change this so we don't want anything of this four spaces is enough one two three four okay so if we check it now now it looks much more nicer now we have indented xml formatted in a nice way here okay the final thing we want to do is write this to a file so we take with open generated invoice dot xml write as f and then we just f dot write result run it and check the generated invoice looks really nice we have an invoice date customer number the invoice rolls spaghetti pasta pizza and everything looks good so this is how you can generate an xml file from an excel file so you could just have here the format that you want and of course you can use a schema also but here we didn't use any schema we just created our xml file ourselves and one more thing if you want you can also use as is if you want to write some general text to the document let's say that I wanted to write hello on the document and then I can do that and run and check the generated invoice and now you see it here that we have hello in front so if you just want to add some text you can use doc.as is also in the XML for the JATTAG. So JATTAG is really useful. OpenPy Excel is really useful. So now you know how you can generate XML files. Thank you.